my, uh, <laughs> my last, do I look into the camera? Uh-huh. <laughs> and just make sure to pull a little bit close. It's like the off since the band is playing, so we can... Oh, like this? Yeah, yeah, because it's kind of loud. Oh, shit. I feel like I'm an old Should person, like, how do I use yeah. my iPhone? Uh, for the second finish and show you for a second? Oh, uh, we can. Do you know what's going to be done? Um, probably, probably like 30, minutes, another 20, 20 or 30. Yeah, yeah, let's try it once we're done now. Okay. okay. So you're gonna. This is uh, we're cutting out live from Austin. We'll be back in 20. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna jump back into our interview now with uh, the last time you threw up. I can't really remember the last time I threw up, but I do remember that I threw up about four or five years ago from uh, some leftover Zaxby's that I left in the fridge too long. And it was some bad food poisoning that lasted for like three days and it was awful. Uh, the last time I threw up was about three months ago and I had lots of onions and pickles. <laughs> <laughs> last time I threw up was, was at, outside of Sidebar in Atlanta, Georgia. <laughs> I, they have 90s night and there's 90 cent shots and 90 cent beers and it's really cheap, cheap liquor. And uh, I, I smoked dabs for the first time. And I, I got really convinced that I was getting sex traffic. So I got really <laughs> anxious. So I left this dude's apartment and went outside and walked around and then I, and then I started throwing up while riding a bicycle home. Wow. <laughs> Those are all equally very impressive. <laughs> wow. Um, Okay, so then uh, we're here at South by Southwest. We'll, we'll skip the vomit stories for now. We'll get into South by. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So then can you just kind of talk about South by and just like if it's what you expected or if you expected it to be crazier and just like your yeah. your enjoyment of the overall atmosphere. So we can start right here. Sure. This is great. There we go. Space world. South by Southwest has been has been pretty awesome. There's people playing violins, wearing masks in the street and stuff. And uh, I've never been to Austin before, and it's kind of like heaven. It just is really beautiful. And uh, we got to see Mew last night, and I bet Tito will talk more about that. But they're uh, we definitely <laughs> fanboyed so hard. Oh, tight. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I didn't. I didn't think it would be this big. I thought it was like, uh, like within like just a few blocks. I didn't like. It was. I don't know. It was really big. <laughs> so and then seeing you was the uh, greatest thing that ever happened. Yeah, that was cool. <laughs> yeah, I thought. I didn't know, really know what to expect coming to South by, but I really enjoyed it. Um, it's kind of like Mardi Gras, except not as nasty. And. Um, yeah, I got to see Roswell Kid and Diarrhea Planet yesterday, so that was really cool. Uh, I, Austin's awesome, and I love free beer, so put that together, and we're good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so if you guys were to pick like a dream showcase at South by, uh, what band would you want to like open up for or play with? So, and remember, we're at South by, so it could be literally anybody. So go ahead and just think about it. Right here. Hey. You don't have to go in a circle, you can toss it around. Okay, okay. cool. Um, let's see, favorite band to play show. I saw, uh, last night I saw John Dwyer from the OCs going to our hotel. Um, so I'll say the OCs. <laughs> um, probably based on the, the lineup of things you've seen this year, Mew. <laughs> uh, yeah. Damn it, you guys. <laughs> Neurosis, Converge, Mew, Moni, uh, Brand New, I, <laughs> yeah, uh, I think it'd be really rad to uh, play with Save Today and the Ghetto Kids. I'm going back there, back in time. I guess Save Today, they're both still active. They are. Awesome. <laughs> Okay, so then last question, uh, the blog I write for is called The Noise. Uh, we want to know what's the noisiest experience you've ever had, so whether it's on the road, playing a show, um, someone snoring or throwing up, <laughs> so, alright, here you go. Um, <laughs> noisiest thing I've ever experienced was seeing neurosis. That was very heavy. <laughs> I think he was smoking loud in the hotel room earlier. It got real noisy. It got real noisy in the bathroom. 
I mentioned I saw Diarrhea Planet last night and they were super loud, really loud, like you used to I ended up at some club sometime in my life, I don't remember when or where, but it was the loudest thing that's ever happened to me. And I remember trying to talk on the phone and I, I, I crouched down underneath the table like that would help, but it didn't. And there's a picture of me somewhere crouching down really? under a table trying to talk on the phone. Nice. <laughs> nice. Um, I did an interview earlier this week and someone told me that they were at a neurosis show and they were so loud that someone threw up. Like it was just like they oh, all, yeah. yeah, yeah, pretty much the brown note. Yeah, they all just started puking. Uh, so the last thing, uh, just a shout out to you guys' fans. Um, did one of you guys just want to just say like, what's up? Watch out for you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Just give a shout out to your fans. Tito! Tito, give a shout out to your fans. Like, yo, this is Microwave. Yo, it's your boy Tito from Microwave. I love all you guys. Respect. Yeah! <laughs> yeah. Alright, dude. Yeah. Perfect. Cool. Thank, thank you, you so dude. Much, yeah, thank you. Thank you, dude. Perfect. Awesome. I like that.